Welcome back to an episode of We Are, again, not at full health, but there's an easy way around it. And uh, now we're just going around the inner parts of Fort Joy and clear the whole thing off of enemies. Now then, uh, and of course we get an awful amount of rope, because we can. Let's move on. Uh, heavy metal stuff, no stuff, no stuff, yeah, come on. What good are those chests if there is nothing in it? And there's a book. There's another book. Oh, oh. You've come to the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh-oh. Well, um, hmm. Looks like I have the initiative. Okay, just took a little while. Uh, that's not working. Mm. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Blood rain, why not? And go. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, I can cast it anywhere inside this circle, but uh, it will always be right at the outside. Let's see. Bleeding blocked by physical thingies. Whatever. That's not good. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's see. Can I get it, like, somewhat in right? No. Ah, oh, not even with a little bit of trickery. Come on. I think... I could try that, let's see. Ah, so close. Uh oh. Phoenix dive! Jesus, what is this? What was that? Paladin cork. A phoenix dive ability. Now, this is awesome. This is absolutely amazing. Okay, wait a minute. How far does it go? It goes two. So I should go like two units uh, this way. And then, with a bit of luck, I can actually make... Eh. Set both of them, but this is not really working. Oh, come on. Not again with the high ground. Like, high ground is just absolutely annoying. Okay, that one has uh, not that much magical. That one is actually almost dead when it comes to physical. So, can I not attack it? Okay, so this is how much? Two? So I'm going like... Oh no. Why can I not move that far? Does this fella have any negative effects on it? Slow it. Hmm. Makes sense. Uh, so I need to go like two units this way. And with a little bit of luck, I'm in range. Ah, oh, awesome. Nice. Make sure Cork doesn't leave. Okay. Ah, this Cork fella is going to die, I think. Or is he? I really have to be uh, very quick about it, because otherwise this dude is... Yeah, there, there will be some trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. Uh, I think I can just ignite this dude. Uh, once, and then I'm gonna spread it up here. And not quite there, not quite there. But wait a minute, I can follow up with another one, and boom. Awesome. I just love that flying rock. It's amazing. Oh boy. <sighs> like, why is the fight getting triggered, and why are some random dudes... That I'm not even around, uh, still affected by that. Like, the, hmm. same with the Ben Matzt fella. All right, I'm still slow. That's not good. Uh, hmm, I can do some bleeding, uh, or I could just do some attacks here. But what was that? Bleeding is usually two or whatever units. So let's just get as far as we can. Like, come on, there we go. Two units this way, and then I can do something like. This should work. Actually, I don't even know how much damage I do. Um, yeah, and don't press the crouch button or whatever it is. 7 to 10. Oh boy, that's absolutely nothing. Um, I need to stock up on damage. That is nothing, actually. Hmm. All right. Ah, that is definitely not it. Uh, but, and this is also bleeding, so if I... Uh, it's not in rage. Okay, let's just give it some more poison and with a bit of luck. It works. 
Yeah. That paladin gets his ass. Whoop. Uh, let's see how long he can actually survive that. I don't think that it will be long. Righty. Um, let's see. Let's do some blinding. Need to get through this dude's uh, magics. There we go. Nice. A little bit of shocked and missing and everything and awesome. Right. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm. How am I gonna do that? Uh, are we still? Yeah, we are still slowed, so that makes no sense. Mm, I can go with a little bit of burn, but that's just one AP. How many do I have? Okay, three units is like that far. And then I can just do this. Actually, I should have just tried two units and with a little bit of fortify and whatnot. So let's try to not get this dude. There we go. Nice, they're burning, they're bleeding, they're almost about to die. Perfect, 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 perfect. Um, that's not really in range, is he? Also crippled. How much is that? One. Okay, so I need to go like three, uh... I need to go three units, right? Um, but three units is actually not that far, if you look at it. I could just try to do normal attacks on this dude. There we go. Uh, and maybe a follow-up one. Nice. It would be nice for like those uh, dual wielding characters to be able to split their actions uh, between two enemies. So that right hand attacks this enemy and left hand attacks another. Uh, that would be pretty neat. But instead you are always kind of forced to attack one and the same enemy all the time. Ready. No, wait a minute. Bleeding uh, is something that we don't want. Mm, let's just give it some poison. Maybe once, maybe twice. There we go. What's this guy doing? Oh, he comes towards us. That's perfect. That means Corky... Oh, no. Corky's going to die. Yep. That paladin is done for. Mm. Right. Uh, what could I do? What could I do? What could I do? Um... I could just attack normally like this. Oh, that was a shitty idea. What does this one do? Magic armor. Yes, let's do this. Come on. Why does it not work? Come on. I'll yield to none. I yield to none. Yes, yes, yes. Let's just let this fella be here. Uh, and that one is out of range. Oh, this is so stupid. The staircase system in this game is just absolutely horrendous. You can't do anything. Okay, that will work at least. Bam. Nice. Uh, is this one at least in, in... Yeah, question. Is this in range or not? Because it makes the strange bend around it. And, uh, yeah. Usually it's like highlighted a little bit different. They really need to change this highlight system. This is absolutely... Absolutely awful. Right. Hmm. Who would benefit from a little bit more armor? Uh, the small guy, probably. Let's see if we can overload him. Oh, we can. Look at that. The armor system is actually quite, quite neat. Oh, boy. The further they go, the more... Uh oh. <clears> hmm. <throat> I need to do something uh, to uh, to get this dude killed. Target's too far away, of course. Uh, and I need two of them for an attack, so... Uh, that's four this way. Well, yeah, let's just... It's still slowed! Come on! They're slowed the whole bloody time. Yeah, this paladin dies. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um... I mean... It's really, 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 really bad that the uh, attack right here gets triggered because of enemies that stand right there, right? That makes no sense. Like, every time. And it's always like some bystanders that are not strong enough to handle the whole situation that end up getting killed. Uh, okay, this is definitely not cool. Mm -hmm. Could, like, if they wouldn't have uh, attack, then I would have... I would say that everything is fine, but no. No, 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 no. 
Right. Um, let's see. Let's do this one on the swordsman. And yeah, targets are out of sight. There's like two. I need to move like one unit, if that's even possible. Uh, something like... Oh, let's hope that this works. And with a bit of luck, I can... Ooh. I can actually... Yeah, look at this. You have to aim upwards in order to, to hit your target. That is absolutely stupid. That is horrendous. Alrighty, let's let this one move as far as we can. Uh, well, that is definitely not what we want, but okay. <coughs> hmm. Whoa. Um, yeah, now he's dead, definitely. Oh, boy. Looks like someone... <sighs> Who's this one? Who's this one? I don't... Like, if I, if I highlight these things, then there should actually be some kind of arrow uh, on top of whatever character uh, this is down here. That would make much more sense. Whatever. Um, I can't reach that, and I can't just... Why is this Falana coming towards me, towards safety? But no, stupid. Um, right. Who's next? This one. Um, this guy is positively getting killed. And uh, let's just let the beast move as far up there as we can. Attack of opportunity. Nice, nice, nice. They're walking, and they're killing, and there goes Paladin Core. Great. Great, 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 great. Um, who's the next one? Also a ranger. Yeah. Uh, let's just move all of my characters towards the front here. This dude is so going to get himself killed. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, burning arrows are definitely a wee bit cheap. Let's see... I can just burn this dude down. Yeah. Awesome. And a critical hit. And then I could follow up with a wee bit of poison. Maybe even more poison. Yeah, let Oh boy, let's just do an awful lot of poison. Bam. Uh, how much is that? 15 damage. And maybe with a little bit of a AOE, I could do even more damage. Come on. Nice. There goes this fella. Goes kapooch! And, uh, yeah, let's just get both of them uh, into the next fight, because reasons. There we go. Much nicer. So, it's the beast's turn. Sadly, it wasn't able to help anyone. Uh, yeah, definitely far... Oh, actually, this is a good idea. Yeah, where's, where's the beast? Beast's up here. Uh, I should... Uh, should I focus... Who should I focus? Nah, whatever. Let's just go with the first one. Boom. Oh, yeah. Damage. Love it. Hmm. Righty. Uh, I could try to do this. With a bit of luck, it actually bounces. And it doesn't. Um, let's see. I need to go like one... What's this? One unit, two units. Good. Uh, in this case, this one goes that far. I try to go one unit, uh, and then I'm just going to burn slow oh boy. Slightly behind the beast. Just slightly. Alright, maybe it... Oh, come on. It just won't want to work. Okay. I really have to watch out for the health bars and everything. Otherwise, I'm going to get my ass handled. Handed towards me. That's not good. So. Actually, another trick I can do is just teleport Fane all the way up there. And then both of them are going to get themselves killed immediately. And Fane isn't even part of the, uh, of the action yet. Look at that. That's awesome. Ah, bollocks. That was not what I wanted to do. Whatever. Um... Yeah, the next one is Fane, so let's go for teleport, take Fane, uh, and teleport him all the way over there. Nice. Now he's in range, uh, and can shoot them down with ease. The only problem is he does not have, uh, enough stuff yet. 
Right, uh, who needs some healing, by the way? Uh, the beast needs some healing. Uh, just in case. There we go. So, let's do a little bit of that. Followed by a wee bit of fire. Can I actually go with... Oh yeah, I can go with both of them. Noise. Everything is burning, which is quite nice. Too far away, obviously, but this is two, so I'm going forward two units. Uh, come on. Three, two. And then I'm going to follow with a wee bit of poison, and... Oh, that was actually bad aim. I could have probably gone for two of them at once. Bam! Okay, I'm not here to keep everybody safe. That's just something that, uh... Yeah, th th this is something that I usually tried in the past, trying to do it perfectly all the time, trying to save everybody. But, uh... There's a certain bit of wisdom that I learned that it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter as much. And if the game is a little bit against you in this regard, then uh, definitely uh, not going to help that. It definitely does make sense if you want to be perfect and whatnot, if you want to uh, like save everybody and whatnot. But uh, right now, there's no reason for it. So let's move this down here. This fork has a value that one goes. What about this one? Fire resistance. Pretty decent. 416. Uh, oh, better. There we go. And this one can be sold. So, we got ourselves two books. Uh, quick save successful. This is not it. Military essays. Uh, what makes an expert swordsman? There are three types of swordsmen. The beginners, the bravados, and the masters. If you have already learned the basic techniques, you can easily distinguish the beginners from the experts. A beginner does not know how to hold a sword properly, and his fighting stance is completely unbalanced. The bravados are versed in the arts of sword fighting, but they reveal their knowledge merely through exhibition. You can find many bravados at fairs where they demonstrate their skills in front of the excited masses. A real sword master is a mentor who travels from town to town to teach his skills, but he will always hide his best tricks. A true sword master will teach you everything you know, not everything he knows. Ooh, that's pretty mean. Uh, it would be nice to actually have uh, a skill available for it. Wait a minute, well, wooden target. Uh, that's something that I picked up. Um, let's see, someone better? No, it's actually worse. Is it better? No, it's uh, slightly worse. Hmm. I want to keep his dual wield and I want to keep his, like, two handed whatever thingy until we have a massive, massive whatever kind of weapon. Actually, it would make more sense for the uh, lizard to have a two handed weapon uh, and for the dwarf to have. Sh Actually, no. A warhammer would be great on this dude. So, let's see. What am I going to do with that? Um. This one goes to the uh, beast for now. Let's read the other book. The Little Book of Big Booms. Some name. Rain and Lightning, Blood and Oil. Oh. Oh. This is a nice hint uh, how to make elements uh, interact, or like certain skills uh, interact with each other in this game. These are the ingredients of Rivalon's most explosive recipes. Consider these combinations when trolls come seeking a holiday feast. Fire and water for a nice sizzling steam bath. Fire and oil when a small contained blaze just isn't enough. Fire and blood because there's nothing more fearsome than a cloud of blood. Fire and poison. Consider the blast your guests main course and the ensuing miss their dessert. And remember, you can add electricity to any cloud for a shocking, spicy finish. Yeah, there's just a problem. How do you get the cloud going? Um, because you need the cloud first, somehow. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, fire and uh, blood, because there's nothing more than a cloud of blood. Actually, yeah, clouds. Um, is a cloud, like... Actually, this is a very interesting book. Let's put this to Fane. Um, actually, maybe I should put this into like certain containers in here, where there's like... Um, interesting things to read. Yeah, let's move both of them in here. That would make sense. Right. <clears throat> let's try this out, because I do have a few spells that we'll be able to interact. We have a little bit of poison, um, and then we... No, wait a minute. 
Um, I need a wee bit of blood. Let's uh, put some blood in here. It would probably wash away the poison spots down here, right? <coughs> no, nothing happens, right? So, and this dude has some fire spells. Let's do some fire on the blood and see what happens. Uh oh. Uh, blood cloud. There we go. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's there. See that thingy? You actually notice it if you uh, use the mouse there. And it's gone. Now it's a smoke cloud. The smoke cloud happens if there's like... Uh... Yeah, if there's like fire uh, and then no fire, uh, of course. Oh, Magister Triplus Two-Hander. And this is the weapon that I'm probably going to give the dwarf. That thing is awesome. So, let's get this thing up there. Nothing. It would be nice to have some kind of automated... Uh, item uh, move system that moves like items from one character to the next depending on what kind of items there are what do we have here the divine is gone bishop alexander is not warning those caught excessively fraternizing with inmates will be brought before the hammer cell and that's something that we don't want right uh oh wait there's a bucket helmet uh the empty cup has no value the pitchfork can be sold and of course, there are a few items up here. Uh, da, 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 yeah, that one is empty. And there's more stuff right there. Good. I think we got it pretty much. What happens if we just detect this thing? Nothing. No damage numbers, no... Like, absolutely nothing. Uh, there's a healing potion. Empty cup, no need. Orange. Hmm. Do you need an empty cup uh, in order to fill the thing or, or not? Not quite sure. Let's just take as many cups as we can and stack those things. Uh, what, is, what, what, what is this though? Useless. Okay. Like the, uh, the empty cup uh, said that this one is not useless, right? Bowl, saddle, da 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 da. Uh, whatever this is. Oh, yeah, this one can be sold. Yes. Hmm. Right, then we got another one. Uh, no, wait a minute. The bowl can go away again. Uh, we don't need that. that. Why doesn't it. Not enough space. How did. How, how is there not enough space? Look at that. That's not enough. Eh? Not enough space. How does that. I don't get it. Okay, that's weird. For some reason, there's not enough space, but you still do the same action, uh, meaning that you move it up there. So, that bucket gets moved again. A pit fork can be sold as well. Mug of wine. The sandal. I think they are slightly better, and I should give them to someone, I think. Let's see. Um, who has shitty boots? This one. Uh, two. Yes. Uh, I need to get the boots again. I don't know where they are. Didn't I give them to the Red Prince as I usually do? There. Oh, wait a minute. Two and two and stolen? Hmm. Uh, that's something that I'm not quite sure what to do with. That. But this one can be sold. Right. So, we opened up all of those things. Uh, what else? We got some more empty cups. Yes. Uh, I really need the vacuum spell for this stuff. It's uh, unbelievable how useful it could be. Only problem is, like, you end up with thousands of probably, like, useless items in your inventory afterwards. And a wee bit of bread, please. Thank you. So, now, what is so heavy that I can't move afterwards? The knife. Uh, uh, I mean, it's an interesting one, but let's just move it away. Ah, this thing! Magister's Breastplate. Five units. Hmm. Strength plus plate. Both of them do have... Hildur's Breastplate is a wee bit better, isn't it? Um, or at least it has fire resonance, some HP reflect damage. 
I don't know if the reflection of damage uh, would be the slightly better idea because this dude is gonna get himself attacked anyway. Let's just move this towards the beast um, so that he has a, another armor on himself if he would need it. And I definitely need to do something about that stuff like this. Definitely too much. Definitely too much stuff in my inventory and I don't know what to do. Hmm. No finesse. Um. This one goes towards the uh, beast. Like, I really need a character that just takes items, like uh, equipment, that I am not able to, to carry myself. That's just far too heavy. Ah, whole inspire. It's just so sad about that stuff. Like, I don't have any, any, any character that would benefit from it. It's just so... I don't want to sell it, but I have to. Or at least, wait. Um, I don't need to sell it. Um, what I wanted to do is something somewhat tricky-ish. Um, I wanted to just uh, get myself a chest uh, and move every item that I just carry around uh, and have no real use for and put that uh, item into the chest and uh, put that chest right next to one of those teleportation points so that I get access to it if need be. Um, yeah, let's uh, pick that thing. <clears throat> And open sesame. So, what do we got in here? Uh, we got ourselves nothing. Uh, what else? I can't see shit. So, come on. See that? There's a. Ooh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I can just move things. Uh, targets too far. Not enough. Really? Not enough to hey. Not enough space. Not enough strength. Target is too far. Like what now? Either there's not enough space or they're not strong enough. How can they be not strong enough? Like this thing is absolutely huge. Ah, absolutely huge. I leveled them up all the time. Oh, maybe you can use this. Might the Magisters anticipate Void Woken attacks despite their rules and their colors? <coughs> hmm. <laughs> rules, yes. As if rules ever prevented an attack. Usually rules do the opposite. Uh, they usually incentivize attacks. Because people don't seem to like rules very much. Uh, oh, 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 Searing Decker Skillbook, yes. Righty, and the blood's still there. Why is the blood still there? That may, that's like weird. You can have a permanent, somewhat usable um, blood thingy. Yeah. Oh, wait, nice, nice, nice. And then a lock pick, and a few nails, yes. And the chest. Sweetie. And of course, as usual, I'm far too heavy. Ah, <sighs> wait a minute, belts. Uh, this dude doesn't have any belts. Let's give him some. Mm, actually, uh, would Fane be the ones, the one who benefits the most from belts? I don't think so. Um, this one has a belt, this one has no belt. Yes. Um, righty. Uh, oh, mm, uh, come on. Uh, chance to turn water and blood surface and clouds into... Wait, wait. 100% chance to turn water and blood surfaces... And clouds into poison. Uh, set atrophy for one turn. 20% chance of succeed. I don't even know what atrophy is. Probably something that uh, reduces the movement of enemies and whatnot. Oh, magical dwarven stuff. Okay, this one uh, we're going to keep. Uh, the, 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 this one goes towards the beast. This one goes towards the beast as well. Uh, claw hammer. That's something we can sell. That goes to the red prince. The author delights in red galing you with long tedious tales of skinning and tanning the hides of various animals. The animals seem less delighted. The practical skills to be gleaned are few but valuable. For the rest, that is time you will never get back. Uh, for this, you would tan the author's own hide. And we got ourselves leather scraps that we can make. Perfect. Uh, time to sell that stuff. I am not a pyrokinetic. Uh... Ah, huh. shovel. Yeah, let's keep the shovel. I really need to figure out what's sort by weight. But it's not the weight of the items themselves. What's the 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 what's weighing the most is actually just the sheer amount of stuff. Um 
Yeah, and then there are, of course, buckets with water. Sure, we are going to carry these around. Oh, yeah, wait. Um, that's the thing that's the, uh, that the beast was supposed to get. Uh, petrified and slowed for one turn can happen. Um, actually... Yeah, that's just great. I have no use for this thing. Towards the Red Prince. Um, ah, Geomancer and Finesse. <laughs> Come on, this is so mean. <sighs> okay, um, towards the beast or Fane, Fane, Fane or the beast. Like the the beast is my 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 crafting carrier. Uh, the red prince is just carrying all of the sellable uh items, whatever. And the and Fane, what's Fane going to carry? Body parts mostly. <laughs> uh, my little collection. So, what do we have here? Forgery of a uh, painting. Yeah, this is something that I have to get rid of. Uh, this stuff is just... It's nice to have, but... Uh, it, 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 that's the thing. Uh, it's just somewhat in the way. It would be nice for, like, a, like a house also. Um, actually... Why don't I just... Wait a minute. Uh, it's a dwarf that God said. No. Uh, shift? No. Uh, what I want to do is just... Add to where? Da -da -da -da, examine? No. Oh, examine. Does that work? No. Just some health bar stuff. So... Oh, come on. It does not turn yellow in, again. Like, this would be nice so that you can kind of reset chests uh, with this kind of thing. Can you at least move it? No, not enough space. But that works. Right. Hmm. Alrighty. Uh, but now we want to move uh, this fella. And I have to manage, like, an awful lot of other things. The crossbow I'm just going to keep because of the fun that I could potentially have with that. Uh, the Holland's bow... This one goes towards Fane. Um, don't know what to do with that, to be honest. Uh, I really want to change the name of some of those backpacks, though. Ah, matches his foot. That one goes to Fane. Uh, that one goes to Fane as well. And... I think that's pretty, pretty much it, but I need to get rid of an awful lot more things. You gotta be kidding me. Bucket with water. Okay, that one goes to the beast, and... Yeah, I, I, oh. Far too many items in my inventory, and I don't know what to do with those. Encyclopedia of Flora. What? The ultimate guide to noxious bulbs. I think I got this one already. Noxious bulbs grow in the uh, temperate regions of Riverland. They thrive in open areas where their intricate root systems can freely grow. Commonly used as a means of security, noxious bulbs are well known for their vivid colors and their equally vivid defense mechanisms. Once they are fully grown, they appear in a multitude of variations. The effects of the bulbs roughly match their appearance as well as the element to which the bulb is mostly susceptible. For instance, a red noxious fire bulb is susceptible to fire, and yellow noxious earth bulbs is susceptible to earthen elements. They are very sturdy flowers that are hard to destroy or brood, but if one does manage to destroy them, they will hardly go down without a boom. Nice. Um, so now we know what to do. Uh, and this one goes away. Lone Wolf Contract. The Master Target is none other than Divine Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order. Get close and show our benefactor why the Silver Claw is the most feared amongst all the Lone Wolves. For some aid with your mission, seek Magister Boris in the ghetto. Speak our motto, Glashur Dumas, to identify yourself. May the moon light your tracks. Roost Anlon. Uh, whatever. This one goes to to Fane, um, and this one goes in here, like everything somewhat character related, I'm gonna move up there, ripped painting, okay, that doesn't work, <coughs> hmm, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, this, 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 this. I mean, it's nice that you can do some kind of like um, inventory management in here, but come on. Um, so this one goes to what's the red prince? We can sell that stuff. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, that one is empty. Then yeah, there's basically nothing else in here. Good, 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 good. So, time to get all of the other things. What else we got? Oh, Carpenter's Axe, yes. And this axe is sellable, goes towards the Red Prince, yes. Actually, the Red Prince might almost be... No, not full. 160. Thank goodness I have two tanks uh, in here that are just going to be my main carriers for things. Can I just walk past all of this stuff? No, I can't. Of course not. Spoon and pepper. Great. Wait a minute. Uh, I can't seem to move this, right? Can I? I can. Yeah, look at that. There we go. Okay, can't reach. Too steep. Sure. Uh, what if I just... Okay, what if I do something different to it? Uh... Righty, perfect. Too bad uh, it gets damaged by that. Oh, spoon! Oh, wait. Mm, stupid. Reading helps sometimes. Uh, I wanted to get the pepper, not the spoon. How many spoons did I pick up, by the way? No, definitely too many, I think. What? So, let's see. Uh, there's a card. Uh, some kind of like decorative sack thingy, whatever. Let's just get the rest up here. Now we're just going about and uh, picking up things, just as a general kind of hint. Ah, uh -uh, look at that. Can we open that? Oh, just like that. Okay. Where are we? Oh, I think I know. Wait a minute. Um, don't I know? I don't know. Uh, this was, no, wait. I just teleported through here. And this was where I teleported the other fella. And he should have... There's a lot of blood here. Why? There was no fighting that happened, I hope. But look at this. All of the ships are destroyed. That means almost no one uh, will be able to get back here. Alright, um, I'm not going to explore this part here yet. Let's just focus on the inside of the fort. Uh, so, let's get uh, all of the empty cups, because why not? A beer barrel. No, 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 no. Poor paladin. Uh, wait. Yeah, this stuff is down there. Hmm. So, let's get that crate. Nothing in here. It would be more efficient if I just... Uh, I think this is a decorative kind of thing. Whatever. It would be more efficient if I just split up the whole team. And uh, then do that. So, let's do that and that. So, that goes towards the beast that's sellable. Syllable, syllable, and done it goes. I'm not picking that up. I could try moving it. Oh, yeah, I could, I could try moving it. Or not. So, is there stuff in here? Nah. Would there be stuff around? I don't like that the camera is so, I mean, not fixed in its position, really. Like, that is a bit iffy. Like, see that? It goes down, and it's really far down, and then it's up here. Uh, and then, somehow, if you move it like that, like, now the camera can stand up there, and now all of a sudden, not, right? Just because of this few movements that happen. It's just a wee bit weird. So, uh, let's get some more nails, some water bottles, and another calm tank. There's a little carpentering. Carpentering. Is that strange? Going on. Wait a minute. Um. Hmm. 
dead. Uh, can we examine them? Status effect? Yada yada. I want to know if they are humans or elves or something. But I think all of them are of the human category. Yes. So that one goes. Uh, that goes towards the beast. That one goes as well. And that one can be sold too. Right. So, Paladini, we got a washboard. Um, hmm. What am I going to do with a washboard? And a bloody leg. Sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. This one goes to Fane. Hmm. <coughs> okay, I don't know what to do with the washboard, though. <sighs> Is it a special washboard? Do we, like, do something with it? I don't know. It's interesting that the paladin has a washboard and no one else has anything like that. Maybe the paladin is more concerned about his uh, outwards appearance that way. Oh, Another cross... Oh, come on. A magical crossbow. Coming from the sky. Okay, we got like... What else I got? It's uh, 1516, somewhat the same damage. A little bit of bonus accuracy and whatnot. Uh, same accuracy, but this one has, yeah, lifesteal. The movement is also the same. Uh, I'm gonna move this to... Fane, for now. Magic armor, pyrokinetic. Um, I'm not the one with the pyrokinesis. This one is. Uh, this one can be sold. Right. Like, this game definitely rewards you for exploration, uh, but at the same time, it also punishes you for doing that, because you constantly, absolutely constantly, have to manage your bloody items with that. Kind of goes against the whole character of, like, looking around and uh, being somewhat drawn uh, to items and whatnot. Hmm. Definitely a wee bit iffy. Okay, there's another one. That one goes, uh, that one goes, that goes towards the beast. Up, da -da 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 -da. At one point, the uh, lizard will probably revolt. Let's see about his... Uh, 95, yeah, he does get heavier and heavier and heavier. Let's just save before opening this thing. Um, can we... Not really see inside. Wait a minute, why not? Ah, yeah, right. Let's open that too. Um, but, uh, yeah, wait a minute. This is another room, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a northern room. Let's look at the map. Um, there was this kind of room here. We already explored this part there. Except for this, uh, whatever's down here. Wait a minute. Hmm. Who? Bollocks. Ha! Huh. Um, hmm. That's just great. Um, let's put a marker. There. Uh, I need to get rid of some of those one markers or whatever. Like, uh, hmm. But one, uh, it just means that there's something that we can get, uh, and we're definitely going to get that before the episode's over, really, just in case. And there's another sack. Right, you know, how many more items are there? Come on. If you, yeah, just, just as a general uh, kind of hint. Or maybe future uh, game programmers or whatever. If you have a game that uh, is focused on exploration and all of that stuff, try to reduce the uh, busy work uh, that you have to do. Uh, did we? Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, we just uh, let the whole thing down. Try to reduce the amount of busy work that you have to do that has mostly no real uh, benefit to the player. That's just there in order to... Yeah, to, to just do things for the sake of doing things. Um, 
in this case, yeah, you can kind of understand that um, restricting the use of items also is important, so your characters don't get too overpowered and whatnot. It makes sense. But you can just have an absolute enormous amount of stuff. What am I going to do with that well, though? I can just throw things down there uh, and see what happens. That's that's a strange ben crafting bench. Maybe it's some kind of wishing well or so. Who knows? So, that one goes again into uh, this room right here. So, wait a minute. Um, let's just mark this with one as well. Yes. Actually, may, uh, wait a minute. What is this? That's the Necro Teacher. Uh, so, build the Teammate, the Pyro Teacher, uh, the Geo. Actually, maybe I should. Can I? Uh, okay. So, uh, Geo Teacher. Let's shorten the whole thing a little bit. Um, that was Warfare Vendor. Or war teacher, <laughs> even the mess is dead. Then there we got one up here. We got a chest up there, and uh, yeah, this is the interesting thing that I didn't really do. The that makes no s sense because this chest I already got. I think. Didn't I teleport this thing toward? Yeah, I think I teleported that towards me. Um, so I can just get rid of that thing. I need to manage my my markings here, just in case. <laughs> so... Alright. Uh, yeah, and then there's also like another one marker. And then I just have to decide in what order I'm going to do all of those one markers. I'm just putting in a random name, basically. That's what it is and this is the I could just also call it W or something uh, doesn't change its purpose maybe there are still oh, 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 oh. ah, so stupid there are so many things around here so many empty containers if the container is empty and looks full don't just don't 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 put it there. That would be nice. Uh, that one can be sold as well. Right. Mm, and another sack. Sure. Like there should be uh, two different models. Uh, one for a filled container and another one for an empty container. Right. Uh, in this case, a barrel that looks like this looks full to me, and that one also looks full to me. Uh, either we can just break it or open the lid a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that, that would actually make sense, somewhat, um, in the case that, well, yeah, it, it, it somewhat makes sense, because um, if you open the, uh, uh, the container, then of course you've looked in it, sure, but on top of that, you don't just have looked into it. What you also did uh, is you took, probably, have taken all of the items out. Um, it's a strange connection, uh, but you should definitely try to, uh, to have that in there. So, um, I have to move that whole dressing panel to the side, can't see, why not? There we go. You have to move the whole thing. You don't just interact with it and kind of like push it together or whatever. Ah, oh, some favorable wind skill book, what does it do? Control the force of nature, increasing the movement speed of you and your allies by 1.5 meters because speed is not distance over time no speed is just distance as long as your allies stay within 10 meters of you in this case the speed is of course the per turn kind of thing and uh, you can go 1.5 meters further for every energy point I think yeah <clears throat> kind of makes sense, uh, but it would be, in this case, meters per... Um, uh, no, this is not it. Meters per, per per energy point, or whatever you would call it. So, let's see. Uh, who would benefit from that? I would, kind of. This guy would... 
Uh, hmm, that's 15, that's 20. He has a decent armor. Uh, and this guy also has... It doesn't... Wait, what? That's weird. I don't want to reduce his uh, magic armor because the magic armor is very important. What's it called? Ah, Griff's Leather Shirt. No, we don't need that. Arrow Thurge. Uh, I'm not in Arrow Thurge. This guy is. And, uh... I mean, he doesn't have that many spells. And sometimes... Wait a minute, let's see. Three turns, five turns, four turns, and four turns again. So, let's say we start with this one uh, at the beginning. Oh, actually, maybe you should start with Shocking Touch. Because, yeah, you should... Start with the one with the least amount of cooldown. And then work your way up, I think. Because then what happens is, uh, your first skill that you use that has the lowest amount of cooldown is ready earlier than the rest. Because otherwise, if you start with the highest uh, cooldown, then you uh, can actually end up uh, with uh, with a turn that, ha that just doesn't work. In this case, uh, perform a heavy attack that deals so much... Why don't I just use this from time to time? That's absolutely amazing. Damage is based on your basic attack and receives a bonus from finesse. Yes. But question... Um, why can't I just attack normally? Wouldn't that have kind of the same... Damage? I don't know. Whatever. Should definitely keep this one in mind. That's a cool one. So magic. Uh, magic, 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 magic. Who needs a wee bit of... This guy would need a bit of magic. Uh, but this one has, like, warfare stuff. Uh, I don't want him to die. And uh, let's just teach him that stuff. Yeah. He probably does have, yeah, a little bit more room for that, too. So, wait a minute. Let's see. Let's move this around. Yeah. Works perfectly. Great. Nice. Uh, now I can get rid of this thing. Uh... Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh. Righty. And the next one... Uh, that we're going to explore is the northern outside of the fort. Uh, da, 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 all of that. Uh, I just... Wait a minute. Until... Because look at look at all of this here. This is basically a uh, completely different part of the map. Um... Until I reach, like, this part, like, of the beach. Yeah, I'm still going to stay inside Fort Joy for as long as possible. Let's do that. Uh, wait a minute, what are they? On the outside, yes. Thank goodness I did not open any, any doors so they don't go, like, through here. Ah! Look at this. This is the staircase thingy. Um, like, if I would open a some kind of underground door system thing, uh, then I would definitely see that one again. Now I know what this one is connected to. Uh, oh, look at this. Every terrain that you can actually go to has this kind of uh, line around it. And there's always a little bit of line inside those tents. See that? Right here, right there. That's how you can kind of distinguish it. Alright, maybe I can just uh, move through here real quick and just pick up all of the items that are around here. Oh god. Uh, yeah, all of the items. Um, sweeper, another claw thing. A bit more nails, of course. More nails, of course. So, yeah, let's just get as many. Uh, and once I'm overloaded, I'm uh, going to manage again. So, we don't need to uh, manage, like, all the time, I think. That would be a bit too uh, excessive. Oh, there's a... Why does it say used cowl sometimes? It's kind of weird. Also, yeah, he's mixed. Uh, no, I'm too heavy. Great. What? Oh, bollocks. 
Ähm. Ähm. Oh crap. When did I save the last time around? Please let me be paranoid with my saving scheme. <coughs> Definitely not gonna fight in this episode. A second time. And I just did that here. Great. Absolutely great. Absolutely great. Okay. So stupid. Right. Um, now we know. What is yeah. this prisoner doing here? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Come on. What is this pathfinding system? Uh, beforehand, everything was fine, and now all of a sudden it backfires constantly. Let's go mad, don't focus. Okay, at least the items are always somewhat the same. Oh boy. Um, is he. Still maxed out, yes. So, let's see what happens if I try to fortify... That one doesn't work. Don't move, Quirkus. There we go. Aha, nice. Fortify. Okay. Now that we are going to move on the outside... Um, let's just keep that in mind here. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Right. Um, yeah, need to uh, manage these things. So the beast uh, is going to learn these skills. The um, eh. This is definitely a random thing. Um, but when it comes to to this ring right here, that's the same one. That is kind of weird. Look at that. Really weird. Really, 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 really weird. Now, um, hmm. I'm not sure which of those are better. Actually, this one is slightly better. Like, this is 15. The other one is, like, uh, 14. In terms of numbers, this one is just much nicer. But I don't know if that would be so beneficial to keep that thing here. That's the iffy bit. That is the iffy bit. All right, so... Oh, wait a minute. Um, does anyone else have necromancy? No. This one has, of course, pyromancy, but... Uh, wait a minute. Is it this, uh, this one up here? So, let's just quickly move up here. Then I can save. Then I have to take all of the items from up there again. Uh, and then we're going to uh, fight our way through the docks. In the next episode. Together with probably a little bit of um, exploration down here. This one has to go. Uh, in here and uh, the upper part up there. And uh, Yeah, I think that should be pretty much it. Until next time then, like and subscribe of course as usual. And uh, ta-ta.